they needed homes. Yeah. People needed homes. And some of them were living in company houses that were uh, beginning to deteriorate in a way. We had the opportunity to get a house that was available. So uh, my husband decided that it would be a good home for the children and the school was close by. They would get their meetings every every month, month I think. I think yeah, I yeah. Have some, some and meetings. discuss what was to be done and what they were going to do. So they, it was, uh, everybody started to plant trees and put lawns in, which made a big difference. My husband and his uh, brother-in-law built the uh, altar, the altar that they put up first. Everything was homemade, then when they did what, what was done. But uh, they worked hard and we worked hard. And we went to, uh, my sister-in-law and I, went in and bought the material to make the, the uh, curtains for the church and for the altar, the altar mostly. and. Uh, we did it, and of course, everybody criticized the way we did it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was all right, we went ahead with it anyway. She just came for a short visit to talk about the houses and how they were getting along. And uh, it, they were very, very good. They were very kind for people that had no idea of what was going on in the world. <laughs> when he came back to the area where he started, there were three men that had worked for him, waiting with the candles to meet him that they were just watching, protecting him. And, it, and he couldn't believe it himself when he came back. He said, look, it, I, just, he said, I just felt like crying, you know, when he saw the three of them there waiting for him. He came one day and uh, his hands were cold and he didn't have the papers were just being passed on where they were. So I had made mitts anyway. So I had one mitt made. So the next day, I, I, when he came, I said, I have a pair of mitts for you. And he couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. So this is the story he came back when he bought the house and he remembered the story about the mitts. My name is Evelyn McDonald, and it starts with an MC. <laughs> Someone would call me and they'd say, looks nice out today, you think we should go skating? Sure, give me 10 minutes. <laughs> oh yes, he was great. The people used to admire him for how he got up and down the pool. She was big, she had great big feet. <laughs> Her feet covered a lot of ground. <laughs> <laughs>